Yo, Hi. what's up guys? Welcome to our channel. Uh, good morning. Good morning. It's currently oh. 5, well it was 5 oh, a.m. when we woke up. Yeah. It's probably but, like 6.30. Yeah. Or something. <laughs> we came to the beach <laughs> to watch the sunrise. Mm -hmm. And if you don't know, my name's Darlena. My name is Celestino, a.k.a. Tano. Welcome to our channel. Um, we are married and we started this just because we wanted to document our life and share it with you guys. Um, we actually have some big things coming. Um, this is actually our last week in California. Mm -hmm. And we are moving to Oklahoma in next week, March 1st. And we're so excited. So, we may not look excited because we're super <laughs> tired, but yeah, we're definitely excited. But we got the there. coffee. But yeah, so we decided to come see the sunrise at the beach as like a... One last time. Yeah, see you later. See you later, but, but we'll, we'll be, be back, back soon. for holidays and whatnot. Um, but yeah, so we wanted to film our last week in california um and just share with you guys like what we're going to be up to like what we're going to be packing how we're going to be packing our car and everything like that yeah. um so yeah like a really fun morning um saw the sunrise then afterwards we went to denny's and had some breakfast and then we had to run to the bank for some things and then we went grocery shopping and now we're back home and i wanted to do a little grocery haul because it's our last grocery run in california which is actually really sad because grocery runs are one of my favorite things like to do they're very therapeutic they make me feel very like organized and like I have like my life together um so I wanted to share our little mini haul of what we got at the store okay so we got these reds burritos that are actually frozen um just because we're gonna be really busy this next week with packing and everything um we wanted something a little bit quick for like lunches and stuff and so we got these um cheese quesadilla steak and cheddar and Philly steak and cheese. Um, they're really good. This is a really good brand and it's not too like chemically and processed, which I love. Um, and then we got some lactate because actually both of us are <laughs> lactose intolerant, but we still love ice cream and stuff. But, um, just cause we drink a lot of milk with like cereal and other things. Um, we got lactate and then I love this coconut milk yogurt by so delicious raspberry and vanilla and then we got some spinach and broccoli to go for like dinners with um like salmon and like chicken and stuff and then i got these salads for me um i actually have a really hard time like coming up with like salad combinations and so these like pre-made combinations are like really easy so i got salsa ranch mediterranean crunch and caesar and then we got some bread and this is actually super extra um, but they looked really cool and we just wanted to try them these are proud source spring water with a really good ph balance um so we'll do a little taste test and see if they taste any different than like <laughs> normal water okay so hard open. They're like metal ish, right? Like metal container. Yeah. I <laughs> can't even open mine. <laughs> oh, got it. What does it taste like? To me, it tastes just like water. Like, it definitely tastes the difference between like a filter yeah. and something like this. It tastes like fresh. Yeah, like it tastes it, like honestly straight from like from the mountains. From the mountains. Maybe if it was cold, it would taste like it was like straight from the mountains, like snow water. Yeah, it's actually really good. Yeah. But it's naturally occurring minerals and electrolytes. Has forty two calcium, six point eight magnesium, one potassium, twelve silica. Can you see? 
145 bicarbonate chlorides, TDS, and pH is 8.1 to 8.5. Oh. <laughs> Jeez. All right, guys. So it's the next day, and our plan is basically to pack all of our clothes. We'll first plan our outfits for the next week um, so that everything else we could just throw into bags and we don't have to worry about that because I think that's probably going to be like the most the biggest thing yeah. and like the ch most challenging task for us because yeah, everything's already packed and almost ready to go mm -hmm. and stuff the next biggest thing is putting our tv so yeah so we kind of just want to like do everything that we possibly can yeah for the next week and honestly the trick is to just use pieces that you can re-wear more than once like this whole week I'll probably be living in this leather jacket um and then like this pair of leggings I can wear like two days in a row and then um just some of the pieces that I would have to wear more than that um we'll wash right before we leave um so that we could wear those on our trip um but yeah so now now that we've uh have everything planned out outfit wise for the next week um we're just gonna go through the rest of our clothes and pack those up in bags right they drank, they drank, they drank, drank, drank With the blaze, the blaze, the blaze, blaze, blaze Cause fade, the fade, the fade, fade, fade Hop on the wave, the wave, wave, wave <laughs> Know the drinks on me when the day pays These Just finished packing all of our clothes, all of our shoes That we aren't gonna wear for the next seven days And now, well honestly, it doesn't even feel like that we did like that much But it feels a little bit cleaner um, our room is honestly a mess right now because of everything, but it is what it is. Can't control it. Um, so I wanted to show you guys some of the items that we bought in the last like month or two for this move. Um, one of the things that we got are new bed sheets because right now we have a cow king and we're not taking it. Um, so we're actually getting a queen when we get there um i think actually a smaller bed will be a little bit better for us um but yeah so we got new sheets and got them from target i believe um they are the casa luna brand which i think is a new target brand um but when we went and saw these we were like we have to have them have them because they're so like soft um these are the jersey sheet set and what's it look like it's like a neutral color i think the name is like natural um so it comes with the flat sheet fitted sheet and two standard pillowcases and it just feels like super soft super breathable um and we're super excited about that and then to go with that we got a this is huge guys <laughs> <laughs> a huge uh, comforter and extra pillowcase like sham covers um it's the same color natural and it's linen actually so that one is like a jersey like material and this is like linen so it's like super breathable especially like in Oklahoma it's like super humid in the summer and like springtime so we need like um like a bed cover that will be super like breathable um so if you're looking for something like that this is definitely highly recommended great reviews um super soft super um like aesthetic like i like the natural coloring 
and then also something we wanted to um, purchase and invest a little bit in our new pillows because the ones we have right now are very like super thin super worn um, just from like years of like using it I'm pretty sure you're supposed to change your pillows I don't know actually comment below if you know how often you should like change your pillows or like get new pillows or whatever um, but we decided to get these they're king size for our queen bed but um, we just wanted like big pillows because it makes the bed seem like a little bit more cozy and comfy um, but what's great about these is that they're all sleep position for stomach back and side sleepers they are 100% cotton breathable fabric um, hyperallergenic and yeah it's a two pack for king pillows um, which is great because I I sleep on my stomach which it, I'm pretty sure is like horrible for you but um, I've just done it ever since I was little and it's just like a really bad habit that I've grown into I'm trying to grow out of it um, but as of right now I still sleep on my stomach um, and then Tino sleeps like mostly on his back and like his sides um, so we wanted like pillows that were like gonna support us no matter like what sleeping position um, so these are great and then the last bedding item that um, we purchased was this therapeutic mattress pad which is basically it's a mattress topper which goes underneath the sheet over the top of the mattress um, just kind of like protectant in case like you spill something or um, I don't know like whatever would happen um, to get the mattress like soggy or soiled or wet um, this goes on top of it and then um, you just take this off and wash it um, and the mattress is dry and perfectly fine um, this one is 100% cotton I'm pretty sure um, odor eliminator stain repellent um, super breathable super soft okay and then the last thing which is actually really exciting I don't know if we have mentioned this yet to you guys but we are getting a puppy um she's actually I don't know how many months old right now I think like um four weeks or five weeks old right now and because we are going to be staying with um Tino's sister my sister-in-law and her husband in Oklahoma um, just to get on our feet, get settled, um, get a lay of the land, um, for the first, like, month or two, I think, um, until we can, like, secure jobs for sure and, like, find the best apartment for us and our family. Um, but they have two dogs and one of the dogs, her name is Scout, she, uh, gave birth to 11 puppies about, like, a month ago and... <sighs> Uh, we were just like randomly like talking uh, when they were visiting last like December and I kind of just was like hey like can we have a puppy and they were like sure and um, <laughs> it was just super spontaneous and like um, we're super excited about it like it's something that we've wanted like both personally for a really long time and now that like you know it's finally happening it's like super exciting like we facetime a lot and we like see her and like she's growing really fast and um she's very energetic very um like assertive and playful um she's like the perfect type of dog for us and like high energy um she is border collie blue healer mix and then also with like pit and lab um so yeah so we got um, a bunch of stuff for puppy um when we get there first thing is some toys we got her this little country buddy little squirrel and it has a squeaker in it um this is for like new puppy perfect like made just for like them um and then this little carrot so cute has a squeaker as well and then we got this harness which is definitely too big for her right now um, but sh it's something that we wanted to invest in so that she could like grow into um, it's like really like sturdy durable won't like hurt the 
puppy when it pulls and stuff. And then the last thing we got was um, this dog lead. Six feet long, super thick, sturdy black, so it matches the harness. And a really fun kind of random um, thing we picked up is something for our road trip. Um, it's gonna be 19 hours, which is very long, but we're gonna break it up into two different days. So the first day we are gonna be staying in New Mexico. Um, around, We'll probably get there around like eight or nine o'clock at night. Um, and then the next day from there, we will go straight to Oklahoma. Um, so it's gonna be a long drive and we wanted to get like kind of like a game to keep us preoccupied um so we got this let's get deep questions for couples uh game so it's really cool there's three different levels um there's icebreaker questions deep questions and then deeper questions um and they're like basically like cards that you like just pick one and ask each other and it like i don't know it's just interesting and cool to like see what like each other has to say um it's definitely something that we'll be vlogging so get excited for that that's um everything we bought in the last like month or two um for our moves specifically um fun road trip things um so hopefully that'll give you guys like a little bit um of an idea if you guys are looking for new bedding or if you're looking um for stuff for your puppy um but yeah, let's get on with the rest of the vlog. All right, guys, just a quick little update. It is the next day, and as you can see behind me, we got rid of our bed and our dresser. Um, we gave it away to Tino's family. Uh, we aren't gonna be taking any of our furniture with us except for our TV right here and a TV stand that we have um, in the car in a box still. And this right here is actually a queen bed that my parents had in storage. And we're gonna be using that to sleep on for the next like five days that we're here. The plan for the rest of the day is to just pack more stuff. Um, we have to go through our nightstands to see what we can take, um, what we can get rid of, give away. It's basically all that's happening today, nothing too exciting, um, but I'm sure we'll have more to vlog later this week. Oh. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning. Next day. And we just got Starbucks. We actually got this like tripod situation for the, our car so that we can like be hands free. Hands free. And then when we have our road trip, we can vlog while driving. Yeah. Don't recommend it. Don't do it. If you're not a professional driver like me, don't try this at home, kids. <laughs> yeah. Um, so I wanted to share our Starbucks orders and I got the baking Gruyere, 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 Gruyere? I don't know how to say it, the bacon, whatever cheese, egg bites, and I get them warmed. They're so good. They are so good. So good. Like, I love bacon, so this is like the perfect amount. It's not like overly portion size, and it like... Hides me over until lunch. And then for my drink, I'm actually trying this new drink. I tried it um, when we went to go see the sunrise. And it's actually my new favorite drink. So it's a grande double shot on ice with cream, no classic, and one pump of toffee nut syrup and two pumps of white mocha. And it's really good. I started eating because I'm hungry, but I just got a basic ham and cheese for salt, also warm. And then I don't do all that fancy stuff for my drinks. Well, he doesn't like coffee. I don't like coffee. He likes sugar with a splash there of we go. coffee. Yeah, just like a splash, just like a little splash, not even like a huge splash, just a little one. <laughs> but I got a Java chip frap. That's usually like what I get. Hence the sugar. Oh, there we go. And stuff. But yeah, <laughs> nothing fancy. I don't get anything fancy like her. <laughs> I'm basic when it comes to Starbucks. <laughs> so last night we went through our nightstands and packed up all the stuff that we're taking. Um, got rid of some trash, threw away some stuff, put in the giveaway pile. Um... And then we also uh, packed some of our bathroom items that we're not gonna need for like the next like four days. 
and um, kind of clean the bathroom a little bit. Mm -hmm. um, and then today, uh, you're going to be out pretty mm -hmm. much all day just saying goodbye to people, friends, stuff like that. And um, I'll be home. Not really much left to pack, honestly. It's mainly just like later this weekend when we have to like put everything in here. Um, so today is like kind of like a chill day, which is super nice because the next two days, two days gonna like are going to be crazy. We're not going to be home. We're going to be out saying goodbye to family, um, birthday party, stuff like that. Um, no. Not our birthday, but yeah. So My niece's birthday. Mm -hmm. So we have that two on Saturday. Nieces. Yeah, two nieces. Yeah. And stuff. So yeah, today's like super chill, but wanted to give you guys an update. And we'll see you later. I'm about to veer into the fast lane With you right beside me Ain't nothing wrong with a little change Baby, here's a wedding ring You got my heart and steel You make me feel like the luckiest man alive Because when you are <laughs> oh, One more day It's Sunday, guys It's freaking Sunday that means it's our last day in California, and by this time tomorrow, we're going to be on the road. Yeah. By this time, we'll probably be in... Probably just got into the border of Arizona. That's so crazy. Dang. It doesn't so even... Really it honestly doesn't even feel like a Sunday. It does not. Honestly, this whole week has felt like Sundays. Sundays. Sundays, but today it feels today like... Today it feels like... Monday. Mm -hmm. like it doesn't even feel like anything like that <laughs> anyway so we just got our final Thing of gas. stop of gas and then yeah. our fill up before we leave and then we also put air in the tire well he put air in the tires <laughs> Yeah. just to make sure we're good to go and um we went to Trader Joe's and Vaughn's for some road trip snacks. And we'll show you guys what we got when we stop and park. Um, yeah. And we successfully packed the car yesterday. As you can tell. Yep. <laughs> Everything thankfully fit. We are leaving some stuff behind, like um, our pots and pans and mm -hmm. like our Keurig and stuff. Because living with like his sister we won't really be needing that until we like move into our own place and we're thinking that we'll probably come back to visit before we do move into our own place mm -hmm. so yeah that's that okay just got home and i wanted to do a little haul for you guys of the stuff that we bought from vons and trader joe's well we first went to trader joe's and mostly this is like my stuff that I wanted for the road trip. So, got some carrots, baby carrots, easy snack, love a good veg, and some blooms, as well as some watermelon. This is really for Tino. And then we also got bananas for like a quick breakfast, um, to like tomorrow morning. And then like the next day, probably get like little peanut butter um, packets at like the gas station or something. And then for lunches, I got this turkey apple cheddar sandwich with turkey breast, apple slices, aged cheddar, baby arugula, Dijon mayonnaise spread on multi-grain roll. That sounds incredible. And I saw this and I was like, oh my gosh, like... <laughs> My mouth is literally watering just reading all that. <laughs> and then I got this really yummy pasta salad. I've had this pasta salad before. 
it's probably like one of the best things on like the planet if you shop at trader joe's um or if you go to trader joe's and don't know like what to buy get this it's amazing it's basically lemon basil um bow tie pasta with like some peas and i think it's parmesan cheese um and other things like that and it's so good and it's really great because it's cold pasta so even if it gets like a little bit room temperature it won't like taste horrible and then i got two little like sweet indulgences and this one i saw um someone else posted about this and i was like oh my gosh these look so good these are coffee candies and it's basically like you know coffees like chewies or whatever and then these are my favorite dark chocolate covered mini pretzels they're so addictive they're so good um they also have like milk chocolate and white chocolate there but um dark chocolate is the best one in my opinion and i don't even like dark chocolate that much and then just to balance things out with a little salty treat um we got these italian breadsticks with olive oil and i've heard really good things about these um so we'll give them a try i'm sure you'll see that in our road trip vlog and that's everything we got from trader joe's okay and then from vons which was tino's choice um he got this black forest ham and yellow american cheese sliders that actually look really good and that's for like a lunch probably tomorrow and then snacky bits we got some goldfish just because like goldfish sounded really good and some unwrapped kit kats gotta have the chocolate some party stack pringles and the ogs cookies chocolate chip cookies from this the signature select which is i think pretty sure like the vons like albertson's brand um they changed their packaging and i'm pretty sure they changed their recipe because they don't taste as good as they used to um but they're still pretty good um and our favorite chocolate chip cookies so that's everything we got from vons all of our road trip snack essentials which you'll see in our coming up road trip vlog which we're super excited about so stay tuned for that and I think the last thing that we have to show is our car packed and ready to go. We're done. Packed the car, completely finished. And wanna show you guys how we packed it in case anyone is traveling across the country in their little car. It was freaking hard. <laughs> All right, this is our trunk. And this is a toolbox. Underneath we have a TV stand and It'll be used for storage for our clothes. This is extra bathroom stuff. This um, is our laundry basket with some books in there. Books and a hyperbolt. Hyperbolt. Um, purse with extra like, purse with like pens, pens, medicine, notebooks, medicine, stuff, stuff like that. that. This is our bag of dog toys, which I showed you guys earlier. This is our duvet, and then behind there. <laughs> <laughs> is what is it a box a box important stuff of important paperwork and stuff like that and then on the right side this is our shoe clothing bag clothing bag this is our tv um the rest of the tv stand and then this these are our snow chains and then hangers and of course we have the doggy bed in the back <coughs> and then bless you <laughs> our pillows that I showed you, another clothing bag, some blankets, and then our sheets, and then tools down there, I think, right? Awesome, yeah. And that's it. Yep. So that's that's it. it. That's our last week in California. Yep. Done. The rest of the day, we're just going to rest, relax, get ready for tomorrow. Mm -hmm. I'm going to spend some time with the fam, the, the, the in-laws. And then we're going to go to Texas Roadhouse and get some grow. <laughs> so thanks for watching. If you made it to the end, um, make sure you like and subscribe to our channel if you want to see more from us. And we will see you in Oklahoma. Uh, by Tuesday. <laughs> well, we'll yeah. yeah. Tuesday. We'll have our road trip vlog. Yeah. Up. Up and posted already. Yeah. So get ready for that. It'll be super fun. Bye.